Apfel Doctor Germany. My name is Ben. Wish you a nice start of the week. We are on Monday, the 8th of July. Yeah, time is running, time is flying. The year almost ends uh, in some month. So, yeah, like every year, it flies. Today we do together an iPhone 7 Plus, um, mailed in by customer and customer said um, it turned off from from now to in Deutschland sagen wir von jetzt auf gleich von uh, it just turned off and it don't wants to turn on anymore and the customer needs his important data okay so no problem we will have a look for that and see what USB amp meter is telling us and we got zero 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 okay so let's get you on hands my friends and then just just open the device and let's have a look what's going on the screen is already broken so should be no problem at this point because we try to open without doing any more damages to the screen yeah looks good now just open it nice okay give my screwdrivers now we have a look what DC power supply is telling us about the behavior of the phone so let's just have a look what DC power supply is meaning DC power supply is meaning that we got a stuck at 200 milliamps. Okay, you see 220 milliamps stuck. Okay, so let's see if there are any component responsive to that. So we just open the whole device, take out the board and see what it does without any components. That's the first step I do in cases like this. And after that I check by terminal. So everyone ha has his own way to do these repairs. Some people have good ways, some, some people have bad ways. But I think we should take a fast and clean way. By the way, while we are opening, we can do a TriStar test. I searched for my TriStar tester on a weekend as I as I um, cleaned the room a little bit, and I just found it, so we can take it normally. I don't take it, but in cases like this where we got 200 milliamps, we can do a fast test to see if one of these six lines which a TriStar tester has a look for, got a problem or not. Because these 220 milliamps or 200 milliamps could, uh, could be relating to TriStar. Okay, when I take off the battery and the lightning, I can't do a test. 
that should be that should be clear okay wait Later we do a, a review about the new uh, JC home button uh, version 4 or 3 um, with capacitive uh, haptic and um, no Bluetooth. So should be arrived in some minutes here and then I will do the review. The tattoo is healing, it looks bad at the moment. It's normal just the the first days when it's healing out it's red and the the skin looks looks bad but later it looks like that and in cases like this like these 220 milliamps it's okay to use the tester just to see the fast way if we got a trust error and I think we got a trust error here would be fast repair would be just a fast video and a basic repair trust I showed you a lot of times I think but um, for me I just want to show you how to solve some repairs okay and that's the way okay I think it's it will get errors on TriStar on TriStar lines so let's have a look as I read the form um, of the customer I thought could be VCC could be TriStar But I thought VCC, but then I saw on DC power supply we don't have VCC. So I think we got a TriStar issue here. And it will be TriStar because it's really slow at testing and then you directly know it's a TriStar problem from the lines going from the lightning to the TriStar, okay? Which can be measured. You see, all lines failed. So in these cases, we don't have to test anymore, but I could show you by thermal how it looks by thermal with this um, with this uh, broken TriStar, okay? So we got a little bit time filling in this short video. Just want to take off the glue sticker. it off cool down Check by thermal.
just for you to see, my friends. Just for you to see. Here we got a thruster. And you see, right away. And this is what I told you before. When I would go my way without the TriStar tester. I would take out the board, have a look if we got this 220 milliamps uh, issue um, without any components. If we got, I would check by terminal and you would directly see, I would directly see TriStar is faulty, okay? I think it's the faster way, but for you, you can always take um, this TriStar tester if it is good for you it's a nice device okay so let's get our TriStar let's get our TriStar and place a new one and you will see the phone will be working fine again just because of this little little chip out okay and then what we do now we just take our solar wick if we can find it on the table yeah here we got then we need some solder paste today we get a new one from union repair Do you see how nice and shiny the pets get? For me, that's the only right way to do these repairs, by using the wick and know how to use the wick. Wicking is not wicking. I don't touch the board with the wick and the solder iron, I just touch it with the wick. Now you see all pads are really really flat, clean and then you can use a new tracer. I just can't understand why people don't do it in that way. I often see people just using the solder iron and going over the pads. Um, just can't understand. That's for me not the best way to do it. But they think oh it works. As long as it works, it's okay. No, we want to do clean work. That's the way. I want to show people how to work the cleanest way you can get. And we do it with all repairs in these clean ways. So now we sold it down. The new TriStar has been done. After that, just use some contact cleaner you see my old painting brush is fucking up and you see it looks like it came from the factory and that is what I want. I just want to see really, really clean work. And I tell it to anybody who comes here for learning micro soldering. I show everybody to work in this way. 
because in my opinion it's really the best way to do it clean just clean okay now we should have a boot again just take a test battery because this battery should be empty have a look if this battery is charged or not empty too we get a battery so the phone is working again but I want to show it to you by using a new battery just have to take a look where we got one Six S. where we got new batteries here have a look if this battery works yeah this battery works phone is booting again we got about one amps of current on charging on the USB amp meter And I think we should be back on the road again. Yeah, did you hear it? We get haptical feedback. And you see, phone is back to life again. Data are back. And that is what I wanted to show you. Okay, there it was. Fast repair, fast and easy. Just a try start on an iPhone 7 Plus. I hope you enjoyed. We will see us uh, uh, see us with some um, experienced stuff uh, today um, or tomorrow. We will see how I can do it. Um, I'm out. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like to learn things like that, then you come to the Bottle Level Repair School Germany, or um, yeah, you ca can come to the Bottle Level Repair School Germany. And when you are working in the rep repair industry for smartphones, just come to our Smartphone uh, Repair Group Germany on Facebook. I'm out. We will see us. Yours, Ben.